Hey, my friends, it's your friend Kevin. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, um, new subscribers, existing subscribers, to subscribe, to like, to share. We're at 312 subscriptions. We've got quite a way to go to get to 1,000, but we're going to get there anyway. Today is, uh, what was today? Tuesday, the 5th of September, 2023. <laughs> and this is your card of the day. All right, so uh, here we go. We are using um, the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle Deck by Radley Valentine um, with illustrations by Echo Chernick. And then we have got our um, Archangel of the Week, which is Archangel Michael, and the number 21 from Archangel Power Tarot cards. The world is basically saying... The world is your oyster. You've completed a great, you've come to the end of a great cycle. And it is time to move on to something new, to start again, to start afresh, to let go of anything that was holding you back. If you're sitting in the past and you feel like there's some things that you've undone, you have to let that go. You've got to replace your space, the future. What's coming next? Don't let the past distract you from the brilliance of the future because you've worked hard. And this is talking about spirituality. This is talking about coming a very happy ending and coming full circle. We have a number of planets. I'm not an astrologer, so don't quote me on it. But we have a number, number of planets that are retrograding. Others are shifting. And our Venus has now gone direct, even though the effects of the retrograde of Venus, which is which was in Leo, talked about money and relationships, it was tough for some people who were either in a relationship, looking for a relationship, or starting a relationship to get those going. Particularly money and finances, they're the effects of a Venus retrograde in the, the sign of Leo can be felt for up to 30 days prior and 30 days after. So just expect the dust and the debris to continue to work its way through as Venus now goes direct, probably for the next 18 months. All right. My isms are, it's not what you show, it's how you show up. And then your affirmation is, I am self-confident and I influence through kindness. And the one I like the most is, I draw upon the cosmic light of heaven and let it shine throughout my being. And so it is. Self-confidence, drawing upon the light of heaven and letting it shine. All right, let's get on with the card of the day and see how all this will tie into this card. Thank you, angels, archangels, interdimensional beings of light and love. We thank you for your presence and I give thanks for being your messenger. I set the intention to see and to hear, to feel and to know your sacred words and to deliver a message in such a way as to enlighten, to inspire and to heal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This card. Deeper insights are at hand. You might have found yourself, as I have, being rather melancholy, being somewhat in a daze, feeling somewhat whew, not quite sure which end is up, what's happening next, what's around the corner, changing the way you thought, changing the way you feel, and certainly changing your beliefs. But the message here is a number eight. Deeper insights are at hand. And we've got Archangel Michael telling us to look towards the future. And to use our gifts and our strengths and our creativity and celebrate all of those powers to move us forward. The overall plan, according to this card, is a good one. But the details of that plan need a little more work. Reflect before moving on 
to something new. And I like the way that this plays out. Here's why. To change how things are going to show up for you. For you to be the light of love, the light of God, the light, the grace, all of those things that the universe has put you here to do. There's going to be many, many times where we have to reflect, not so much dig into the past, but reflect on the, the qualities that we bring. And there are many who throughout a lifetime, if you think about it, <clears throat> Five and six years old, you're learning what school is all about. Moving fast forward to a preteen, you're learning what the physical body is all about. Attraction, rejection. Moving into teenage years, you have don't have the maturity to deal with an awful lot that's coming at you. The expectations are placed upon you for the purpose and what you're meant to do with the work in life. Go into your 20s and it's almost like that gets amplified. Moving into your 30s is a different area of study and purpose. And on it goes. For each decade, each seven to ten years of a lifespan, there will be many of these times where we sit and we look at the journey we've come on and wonder how does this play into the journey that's next. And there are a few times where that purpose, those values, and that journey takes a turn, a detour. I would say for right now, it's a major turn and a major detour, not just for you and I, but our local communities, our countries, our nations, the entire planet. You can look at it as, I don't know what's next and be fearful of it. Or you can look at it, I really don't know what's next and be amazed by it or you can look at it at I have no clue what's next and I'm excited to learn more about it. Those are windows that we look through and depending on the window or the perception or the viewpoint that we look through it's going to depend on what we are going to attract. All your thoughts, all your feelings, all of your energy, vibrational energy is what will attract anything and everything you put your mind to and you focus on law of attraction 101 i myself have decided well i think that there are a, a number of other spiritual laws i seem to remember deepak chopra wrote, chopra wrote a book about the seven spiritual laws i want to study them a bit more and see where they play out just for the heck of it. Um, so when you're looking at these cards, focusing on it's not what you show, it's how you show up. So if you're unclear about what your purpose is, then you show up inwardly and say, Archangel Michael, please guide me forward. Use the archangels to help me figure out my purpose, to help me shine a light, to be the bright light that heaven has put me here to do. And then know that your self-confidence and your influence comes through being kind to other people. Perhaps today, we're talking about today because tomorrow there'll be another video. Perhaps today you look at every single situation, every single person, every single opportunity with kindness. How can I be kind here? How can I be kind there? How can I be kind, 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 kind? Say thank you, angels, for letting me work through my day with utter kindness. That's it. That's simple. A prayer of gratitude. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. If you're not necessarily into angels, you're not necessarily into archangels. I wasn't sure about them three years ago. I was not clear about, well, how are they showing up in my life and are they showing up at all? And then through working with Kyle Gray Hayhouse and now Radley Valentine, becoming students of these fine gentlemen, I realised, wow, there is a whole realm out there and I'm learning more and more and more about them. And the more I learn about them, the more they gets revealed to me. Um, and I, I, I'm in three years ago, which is not very long. I was a little clueless, still a little bit clueless. 
But then when I read other people's accounts of their experiences with the angels and the archangels, it's all very similar. So I am, oh, well, this is something I already knew. This is the insight I already had. And I was sharing with a friend recently, it isn't that we are awakening. Well, maybe there's that word, enlightening. These are all words. They're all labels. What it is, is we're uncovering. Uncovering. Imagine those archaeologists that dig into the dirt and they painstakingly remove the dust and the debris from the top of ancient artifacts up underneath the dirt. That's what we're doing. It's a rising up and a lifting out of what we're here to do. And it sort of comes gradually. Can you imagine if it all got revealed at once? Oh my goodness, we wouldn't know which way to turn. I wouldn't. I don't know about you. <clears throat> sounds exciting, but then it also sounds overwhelming. All right. They're telling me, wrap it up. Maybe today you just think about how do I be kind to myself? And how can I be use that kindness I bring to myself to let it ripple on out? Because it all starts with us. I also believe when you're kind to other people, it goes to this, not how you show. What you show is how you show up. When you're kind to other people, kind people come to you. So be a magnet of kindness, of love, of grace, of purpose, of value, of all those things, no matter what it is. Hold the door open for somebody. I don't know, give somebody a dollar if they don't look like they need it. If you're behind somebody in a, in a line and they say, oh my goodness, I'm 10 cents short. Well, give them a dollar. I just think that's showing kindness. All right, my friends. Until next time, big love. See you tomorrow. Bye.